Yeah, it's your boy King G, and it's the news. So today we have a debut of our new series, War in the Inglewood Streets. Season 1, Episode 1, where we chronicle the events that led up to the stabbing death of Draco the Ruler. Now tied into this storyline, we'll also be tuned in to events that happen in Inglewood that are either related or help us provide context to the tension going on in these Inglewood streets. Now, as a disclaimer, all clips and commentary are being used under the fair use law. And of course, all events in this series are merely alleged. Now, let's tune into an interview with Munchie B, Baby Dot, and Red Bull to talk about a brief history of Inglewood. Do you, do you guys know like, the history of, of IF and how far back it goes? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It goes way back to the chain game before it's Inglewood family. It's called the chain game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Back. Back, 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 you know, when they had uh, yeah, the green jackets, the hunters is called the green jackets, and you know, the Brams, the Brams already established stuff. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah, before Inglewood family, just called the chain gang. All these uh, LA based rappers, we pretty much all uh, party together before they blew up, though. The boy Ty, Mustard, oh, yeah, yeah, YG, yeah, yeah. J305. You know, J305, J305 uh, so I mean, uh, Casey Veggie say he from Inglewood. I don't know that nigga, though. But I do not know the fuck <laughs> that is. I, I, I don't never know seen him, him never. But, but he better start shouting the city out on some shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen a nigga Mac 10 in the flesh, but you know, other homies didn't fuck with him. But, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, Mac 10 is really the one that put Inglewood on the map, right? Yeah, technically, yeah, 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 yeah. He did that. He, yeah, did. he yeah. put the stamp on it. He, he put, put the, the city on the map, but he need to come back and fuck with the city, though. <laughs> yeah, music you know what I'm saying? It's talent over here. Yeah, for real. We got uh, some uh, sign hype over here. Man. He go to Watson, go, go, go sign uh, the boy uh, G, uh, Malone. G Malone. G Malone, dope, though. But you all in Watson, you got shit in your backyard. Real. You know what I mean? I think that maybe you guys got to put yourself out there more, um, you know, produce some more videos, put to get your YouTube going. Because a lot of times people want to see, well, how many, how, 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 how is this online grind? Exactly. How is this social media yeah. grind? You How's know? your hustle in general? Period. Yeah, and they look at that and see, okay, I, I, I think I can mess with this dude maybe. I think it's that, but I also think that a lot of dudes, I'm not gonna say not not scared, but I think a lot of them don't want to fuck with the ones who really involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially the hood right now. We blackball like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's a lot of people yeah. don't like us right now. Now, now let's talk that about shit. that. Why do you think Inglewood family's blackballed? Our, our, our name, our, our our gang coming up in a gang of shit right now. Yeah, pretty pretty Everybody much. Uh, they, they prefer to stay anything away. that happens, our name gets thrown involved. You feel me? They, they Whether it's true or not. A lot of Inglewood stories that was just major. The one with uh, like which one? With uh, well, first it was we know them all. Blood from Neighborhood Pyro. We're supposed to get into it with Game at the Fox Hills Mall. Rosemo, oh, yeah, Rosemo, yeah, yeah. Rosemo. Then, yeah. then Rosemo gets clipped on off of with Manchester, right? Uh, I don't know what street I thought was. Street was I thought it was Florence, like Florence, back Florence. when he was in his little BMW. Yeah. Then Bosco gets arrested for it, but then really has nothing to do with it. I mean, it was like Inglewood story after Inglewood story. So there you have OG Munchie B, Baby Dot, and Red Bull giving us a brief history of the Inglewood family. They expose their close industry ties and also speak on the beef that happened between the game and Ice Burgundy and Rosemo 700. So let's tune into that beef because some familiar names get dropped that we're gonna circle back onto later on in the series. So let's. Rosemo 700, Inglewood neighbors, Ice Burgundy. Brick squad. squad. You know, let's tell the real about the little homie. It all started on Twitter, you know. I said the streets want the old gang back. And uh, he didn't reply. And then he said something about how TMZ had twist up his words. If he say the sky is blue, they gonna say he a crip. So I said what he said on his new album. When you with your Uncle Snoop, you a crip too, so what's the difference? So he gets mad at that, I already know, and he replies to the other one. Well, if you want the whole game back, go buy the documentary then, nigga. Pound Cedar Pot. So now he's starting to bang him, right? He the little homie. Then, you know, I get a call from my partner like, hey, man, let's talk to uh, Wax Star Deuce or something. Game in the background talking about he gonna knock you out when he see you. <laughs> so I'm that like, is that right? The PlayStation game? That game? Yeah, okay, so. Fine, sure, I'd like to see him try to do it. So I guess on the Twitter, hey, somebody tell Gang to be a colony on Monday night like he been for the past two months partying. I'm gonna be there looking for him. He plots back <laughs> with the retweet. Uh, tell me yourself, little nigga. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. The Monday morning come. I wake up, I text game. What's up? No reply. Fuck it, I guess catch him and call me tonight then. So me, my boy, my other partner, we go uh, we shoot to the box to the mall, to the men's land, go find some shit to wear for the club that night. And we walking out. And guess who's walking in? The gang. I run up on what's up, but he had a son with him, so I said, hey, hey, no, I tell my boy, no, come on, we just gonna bop, we out of here, uh, we gonna give you a pass this time, because you with your son, a nigga like, pass, stall me out, pass, I said, no, I'm right, we gonna stall you out, you with your son right now, I'll stall me out, then y'all can stall me, I don't give a fuck about my son being here, what if my son wasn't here, I don't give a fuck if it was the same thing, you talking real high power here. shit, Whoa. matter of fact, it's a real street nigga, steps back, puts his son down, pulls his, his pants son up. back, pulls his pants up, and steps back to us to talk to us, so I'm like, okay, I'm still like, Kind of shocked, like he really turning it up like this. Yeah. I'm like, but come on, let's talk. Cause you know how niggas get when they buy themselves. Come on, he's like, talk, talk right here. We talk right we talk here. Now. What's up? What's Fresh up? off the plane. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas, niggas ain't gonna do shit to me. We just start shit out. Man. You know now, while he's sitting there talking all that bra bra shit, I'm standing right in front of him. You feel me? In his face, looking at him like, yeah. yeah at him. Looking dead at him. You know, he just kept running his mouth. You feel me? Talking that shit like basically, I felt, I felt. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't knock blood out, right then and there, that blood was going to go get on Twitter. Like he You do. feel me? Like he do, because he's a Twitter thug. You feel me? Twitter bug, whatever the fuck you want to call that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Well, he was doing the jitter bug after I knocked his bitch ass out. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother subject. But um, I felt like he probably would have went on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just ran in the ice burger in his homeboys in men's land by myself. They don't want no funk. Just because based on, you feel me, like, it really ain't no issue that couldn't be resolved and talked about, you feel me? And if Compton Menace got something he want to say, he, you know what I'm saying, he know where to find me, he can meet me at the park. So he's a bitch anyway, you feel me? So I'm not even tripping off him, you feel me? When I see him, he gonna, you know what I'm saying, he already know what's happening, you feel me? I don't do no talking, you know what I'm saying? When I see these niggas, these niggas know I'm just finna get bracket. so you feel me? When you see me, just know, nigga, what time it is, nigga. Oh, we, out, we out here gang banging. And, and that type of shit happened, so it just had to be like, like in, in that timely fashion where it happened in all the riff rap. Mm -hmm. I don't think none of that shit was connected to him running his mouth or beating nobody up or nothing like that. It just happened, happened. You know? like you know that gimmick ass, hundred days, hundred nights shit. That's weird. That shit cause, cool. cause, 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 cause it's year round. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, so, so it ain't, it ain't no hundred days. And cause if, 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 if I die, my homies only ride for me for three months in a week, a hundred days. I'm upset. Bullshit. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's year round though, and if. If he, if he passed around the time while the riff rap was going on, that's just when it happened. It ain't got nothing to do with him running his mouth or, or knocking nobody out or nothing like that, though. It was December 2016 at an adult-themed pajama party in Carson, California, where the unthinkable happened. Davion Gregory, more notoriously known as Red Bull from the Inglewood Family Bloods, was shot and killed. Now let's tune into an interview with Baby Dot speaking on this tragedy. Okay, now we already met you. Uh, I yes, think it was sir. November. November. And you was with Munchie B and Red Bull. But since then, uh, Red Bull was shot and killed uh, at a pajama party in Carson. Yes, sir. Uh, what can you tell me about that? I was one of your homeboys, one of your close homeboys in the neighborhood. What happened? Uh, shit, man. Wrong. It was really a case. As far as I can say, wrong place, wrong time, man. Basically, but uh, shit. For what I heard, man, he was just, you know, he was up there chilling, standing in line, and some shit jumped off, and he happened to be one of the people who uh, happened to take the downfall for him, man. Him and two other people, I believe, were shot, but he was the only one that passed, though. And there was a good chance that you you could have been right there with him. Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. That's my boy. That's my boy. Uh, it was a good chance, really, a, lot, a few homies could have been with him, but, you know, a lot of people that he hit up that day didn't want to really attend that party though so matter of fact the day before we both got our hair cut together because we, we go to the same barber so uh you know we got our hair cut together that was the last time i actually seen him the day he got his hair cut now of course um in these streets that ain't the first homie you lost no 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 man um what, i got a whole arm full of <laughs> all from an inglewood family yeah uh talk about like there, there must be a level of trauma that you go through when you have five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight homies that you grew up with that are no longer here. You know, you, you on average have more friends that have been murdered than someone that doesn't grow up in that environment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably normal for you at some point, but as you grow up, you must reflect and say, man, this is crazy. 
yeah, uh, after a while, sad to say, you get kind of immune to the shit, but like Red Bull, that shit hit close, man. Like Red Bull was like the first homie I lost in a long time that I was actually really close with. Cause you know, I love my whole hood, I love all the homies, but I'm not as tight with every homie as I was with him. So it's like, once you lose that certain person, that's damn near like a brother to you, it's, it's, it hit a little harder to home. So Red Bull hit, he hit more harder than, uh, than most. Now on January 2nd, 2017, the investigation ramped up and the police arrested Draco the Ruler and various associates in an alleged connection with the murder of Davion Gregory, AKA Red Bull. Now there you have it, season one, episode one of War in the Inglewood Streets. If you enjoyed the series, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned to It's the News.